Hey guys, welcome to More Core. Yeah, that's right, I changed the name, okay? Sometimes I can't do it daily. Sometimes days come where things are nuts, like yesterday. I had so much stuff going on yesterday, I had to bump the thing. And why call it daily when I can't guarantee you're going to get one every day? So it's called More Core, and we do it as often as we can. We try to make it daily, and if it's not daily, well, at least it's more. All right, so uh, breathe in the hot new air that is the name of the thing. It doesn't matter anyway. All right, let's get to the point. Do you guys remember the Simpsons hit and run for the OG Xbox, for the GameCube, and the PlayStation 2? Do you remember this game? It was a GTA-like set in the Simpsons universe, and it is still one of my favorite games of all time. Well, here's the deal. Two developers, Rubes and Coralon, developed a completed version of a year-long project to remake this beloved 2003 game, The Simpsons Hit and Run, in Unreal Engine 5 as a fully open-world experience. Here's the problem. They ran into some copyright laws. Of course, they are unable to distribute the remake to the public. Instead, a 22-minute video on YouTube showcases some of the game's features and gameplay, so you can watch all of that. The developer's impressive work includes stuff like seamless playing cutscenes, uh, smooth mission transitions, faithful recreations of all the iconic elements from the original game. And while it's uncertain, if they have remade more than just the, you know, of the game, just beyond what is shown in the video, their efforts are pretty commendable and look really nice. Reubs, or however you say his name, operates a Patreon for their game development course and sells an Unreal Engine plugin, suggesting that their motivation for creating the remake may have not been for public distribution ever. That was never the plan. If players are eager to experience this thing, they could potentially try making it themselves using all these resources they talk about in their video and on that Patreon. For now, though, the closest option to experiencing the original game is through a mod that stitches the entire original game together. Um, there's still the, kind of that question in my head. Many heads whether an official remake of The Simpsons Hit and Run will ever materialize. Here are some thoughts from me. Freaking, who owns the rights to this? All right, so it's The Simpsons. So what is it? Fox. So it's now Disney because Disney owned bought all the Fox stuff. Disney, you have what is one of the greatest GTA likes ever made and maybe the best Simpsons game ever made. There's some decent Simpsons games. The arcade game was fun. All that stuff's cool. But this is the one I want, and I think a lot of players want this game. Swoop in, grab these guys, let them make this thing into full fruition, pay them what they're worth, and let's have that game. It's as simple as that. And I'll say it here, and I mean this with all sin sincerity. Of all the games that have tried to take the GTA concept, open world, drive around, do missions, that whole vibe, no game has come closer, in my personal opinion, than The Simpsons Hit and Run. I think the Saints Row games Saints Row games are great. Okay, I do like them. But Simpsons Hit and Run, freaking classic. I'd play it right now if I could. And I would love to do it legally. I'll, I'll pay you 39, 49 bucks, whatever it is. Your, your brand new, uh, shiny, Unreal Engine version of the game. Boom. You sell a bunch of copies. Do it digital only. You don't need to make uh, discs. This will cost you nothing. That's all I ask. All right, now this. I would like to share with you a video of Brian Dunaway cracking me up, just testing his video. Sometimes he sends me little little bits and bops when he's doing stuff, working on stuff, and this is one of those. And it made me laugh, so I'm going to share it with you, and we'll see you next time. Kiss my butt. Get more at frogpants.com.